Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, you know, the timing is fluid, right? So we're just going to see what comes up. I want to say thank you to Elias for the little donation. I appreciate that very, very, very much. So what do we have for a message today? Message, energy, whatever comes out. What do we need to know or talk about? The Four of Wands and the Eight of Wands. So, Four of Wands about commitment, happiness, get-togethers, engagements, celebrations, family, home, reunions, get-togethers, communication, things happening fast, fast-paced changes could be on the home front, could be in your relationships, could be in your commitments, okay? This is a celebration. This is good news, okay? So th there is some sort of good news. It's, it's something to celebrate. So we have some sort of good news here. Um, or there has been, anyway. But this is, uh, the Eight of Wands is, is uh, energy of progress and moving forward very, very quickly. I wonder if there has been a reunion or a get together that is that is progressing, okay? Because this is this is a progress, making very good progress. It's good news, whatever it is. Um, this is this is this is happiness. I just put it in the past position though, so it may have happened yesterday or yeah, be yesterday's energy. Um, We do have some good news. Five of Wands reversed and the Four of Swords reversed. So there's been stagnation, fighting, conflict, drama, tension, some sort of tense situation. Uh, I've, sickness, illness, whatever it is, is, this is a turning point. Okay. The end of some sort of stagnant period. There is frustrations. This is completely exhausted, fed up, sick of it. There's some sick of fighting, sick of the drama. Um, there could be an extreme illness here. Somebody could be extremely ill. They could be extremely tired. But typically the Four of Swords in reverse is like, I'm so exhausted. I'm so fed up. And there's been so much conflict. It's like getting up. The waiting period is over. Somebody may have lost a battle as well. You know, there's been illness. There's There's been a lot of competition, uh, you know. There could be a lost battle, just saying. I feel like we have somebody here that's been praying for something to end. Perhaps their prayers could be answered. They could be. I mean, I don't like to sell false hope or anything like that. Like, I just know who I am. But this is some sort of, uh, maybe there's even been some sort of inner conflict. A waiting period. There's fast-paced movement here because of that Eight of Wands. Somebody is committing to something because of the commitment and the fast-paced changes. There's a commitment here, a get-together, moving very, very quickly. Good news. There is some sort of good news here. Messages. It's 
like there's been some sort of inner conflict or fighting or illness, but it's it's coming to an end. It's like the battle is over. Ooh, the star card, like the prayers, that's it. That's the prayers being answered. It's a time of hope, inspiration, wish fulfillment, a wish being granted. Could be some unexpected help arriving. I mean, this is beautiful. This is renewal. This is a uh, wish being granted. There is some sort of reunion. This is heaven. I mean, the star is a gift. It's a blessing from above. So, hmm. Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is a champion, a warrior. So this is some, and I saw that. I saw flying through the air with this one. Now I really got it, okay? This is like, this is like messages, it's movements, it's, and this is like, be ready, be ready. This is those changes we've been talking about. This is somebody that is very assertive, uh, fearless, uh, going somewhere in a hurry, got something to do. Their mind is made up. So somebody has made up their mind. They're headed right towards wish fulfillment, headed towards some sort of, uh, happiness, commitment, whatever. There's definitely things changing fast. This is changing extremely fast. This is like a warrior. This is somebody that is on a mission. It's like, get out of my way. So somebody is headed right towards, I don't know, it could be fortune, could be fame. I mean, a star is, is fame or be, there could be a spotlight here as well. There could be an upcoming get-together if it hasn't happened already. Perhaps a reunion of some sort. Things change really, 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 really fast. Be ready. Be ready because this is something coming. It's, it's coming in quick. Very quick. And the waiting period was the Four of Swords, okay? The waiting period is over. There's been stagnation. There's been a downtime. Maybe there's somebody needed to heal from something or they were ill or they needed a time out because they had a lot of inner conflict or they were feeling, dealing with some sort of battles or they were dealing with some sort of competition. Back to that cup. The end of a tense situation, put it that way. There's some sort of get-together reunion here. Healing energy with the star card. A guiding light. This is like home as well. So somebody may be guided home. You know. This is definitely a blessing. Now this is fast forward movement. So there's things changing fast things happen fast. Now this could be that the Knight of Swords is an actual person that, you know, takes initiative. This could be somebody that is in protection services. You know, this could be a veteran. This could be somebody that uh, drives vehicles because he's on that horse is like a vehicle, a driver of some sort. Um, this is somebody that is following through with some sort of mission. They're doing something. They're, there's no stopping them. And they're headed right towards, I mean, that star is maybe fame or wish fulfillment. Anyhow, this is an actual person that is doing something that they've been called to do or they have to do. I have to do this. So, and it is... Whatever they're doing, I feel like they're doing it because they have some sort of information. They have some sort of truth. There could be, co there could be a conversation. We definitely have messages here. Um, movement, fast-paced movement. Ooh, five of swords reverse. Now, this is admitting defeat, choosing happiness over ego, walking away. Um, there's been some sort of abuse Maybe even violence. 
Now, somebody could be taken down because of their behavior, their abusive behavior. This is like a bully. Somebody that is extremely egotistical, that will do anything to feed their ego. I feel like this egotistical individual is going down. I feel like they're being taken out of their position. They're losing their position. And this is literally, this could be an actual individual that is doing something for themselves. They let their ego get in the way. Now they're choosing happiness. Whatever is happening, somebody is breaking free from an abusive situation or an abusive mindset. Full reverse. Now this foolishness here. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is a goodbye. It's a necessary alteration. It's saying goodbye to an abusive situation. Thank you for the clarification. The Fool is foolish. It's foolish pride. Ha! Ah, we do got foolish pride here. Now, we do have headed for a fall. It's very interesting. I, I, I don't know if I said it. I, say, I, I may have said a fall from power. If I didn't, I was thinking it. Fall, power. That is a fall. We have somebody here that has been very smug, very cocky, very entitled, very selfish. All about themselves they are about to experience some sort of departure there's definitely a departure here naive somebody's been naive Queen of Swords. Now, Queen of Swords is very authentic, very sharp, to the point. Um, she's making some sort of decision. She's calling out something. Something is being called out. The truth. Okay, she's saying something. She's also, I mean, she's turning her back on somebody that is naive, that is foolish as well. Her back is turned. She's focused on the facts. She's focused on the truth. This Queen of Swords. The truth changes everything. The truth, you know, transforms things. Somebody is also headed towards a Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords, she's very, like I said, authentic, sharp, intelligent, witty. Um, she can be sarcastic. She has pure intentions. She's blunt. To the point has something to say there's something that is coming out but we do have some sort of foolishness here this is abuse this is a bully um somebody has been naive they've been naive they've been missing an opportunity staying in an abusive situation but they, we do have a departure we have a departure here departure we have a departure there's somebody here that's been hoping and praying as well for a reunion. Maybe somebody new is coming in. There could be somebody new coming in with that Knight of Swords. This is where, this could be a hero of some sort. This is somebody that is coming in, charging in, rushing in. This person uh, just wants to be happy. Has already learned some sort of lesson about foolish behavior. There's foolish pride here no matter what. There is good news. I would say get prepared. Get prepared for some a message or messages or something to transform or change extremely fast. Okay? You know, heaven or God answers or whoever you believe in or whatnot. Prayers get answered in unexpected ways. I would say there's something unexpected happening here. 
The Eight of Cups is goodbye. It's a necessary alteration. There's emotional disappointment. There's been illusion. There's been lies or there's been disillusionment. There's been um, false beginnings. There's There's been a lot of reminiscing. There's been a lot of waiting. There's been a lot of... Well, it's almost like waiting for somebody to change. This is a professional, the Queen of Swords, she may be a professional speaker. Um, she could be an investigator of some sort. This is somebody who is in a position of authority as well, who examines the evidence, examines the facts, you know, really does her homework. Really observant, very observant, very calculating. Focusing on the facts, taking some sort of new approach, may have a new idea, may have, you know, some sort of uh, information that causes this departure, causes this goodbye. Somebody's been foolish. They've been missing an opportunity. They made they 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 made a poor judgment call. They were not very wise. They let their ego get in the way. They went too far. Now we definitely have a departure. And this is saying goodbye to this abusive situation or the ego or the emotional disappointment headed right towards the Queen of Swords who is authentic. She's sharp. She's smart. She's intelligent. She's truthful. You know? So this person is headed towards this Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords, she's... You know how... She speaks her mind. You know, you don't have to wonder... You don't have to wonder. You don't have to wonder nothing with the Queen of Swords. She's going to tell you exactly how it is. There's no fluff with the Queen of Swords or sugarcoating. It's the truth. Getting caught or coming clean. Seven of Swords reverse. It's time to take a new approach. Somebody could be getting caught. Something could also be returning to somebody. So there could be a return. Something that was taken could be returned. The Seven of Swords is coming clean, getting caught, being caught off guard as well. I feel like we do have somebody here that is abusive, that is abusing their power. They're doing something stupid. They're being foolish. They're being naive. They're headed for a fall. They're getting caught doing something. They may get called out. It's time to take a new approach. I... <clears throat> Yes, yes, that is the sun card. That is a yes. This is beautiful, beautiful new beginning. We have a breakthrough here. This is enlightenment. This is clarity. It's seeing the light. It's seeing something clearly. We have, it's a brand new day. It's beautiful. This is bliss. Making a choice, making a decision. The Queen of Swords makes decisions, okay? There's something that is coming out. Some seeing the truth, seeing the truth very, very clearly about some sort of Liar, cheater, thief, um, master manipulator. There's some sort of manipulator here. Somebody's getting caught. They're getting caught or they're, it's being seen very clearly. Their lies, their deception, who they are as a person.
We have a necessary alteration. We have goodbye. We have headed towards happiness, headed towards wish fulfillment, sudden departure. There, it's almost, for some, the, could, the authorities could be coming in because the Knight of Swords can be the authorities. I feel like there's some sort of investigation here, discernment, uh, examining the facts, seeing something very, very clearly. This is beautiful. There's, there's renewal, okay? There is renewal. This is There's yes. Yes, the sun card is a yes answer. This is a rebirth here, the birth of a new life, the birth of a new day. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful uh, change, beautiful transition, beautiful reveal, whatever it is. There is somebody that is, is going back to something as well. So I don't know what that is, but somebody is leaving a situation and they're going back to something else. There's a yes answer. There's been a lot of manipulation. There's been an abuse of power. We have a fall from power. We have somebody here. It's almost like they're being, I don't know if they're being pushed. You know, it's like, get out, that kind of thing. There could definitely be a sudden departure here. We definitely have a spoiled, rotten brat or somebody that is extremely egotistical. They have been. This is somebody that is very dissatisfied. They're very, like I said, I think I said it earlier, uh, cocky, um, prideful, smug. This person is all about the trophies. They're all about what they can get. They're all about being in the limelight, but... They probably don't follow through with anything. It's like they like to get things handed to them. They may do things illegally to get what they want. Um, there's an emptiness here. We definitely have an individual that is empty inside. This is somebody that is unable to give or receive love. They're all they care about is what they can get in the trophies or the whatever or you know materialistic things very very selfish energy if it's not materialistic it's about getting their own way <sighs> leaving in an abusive situation where there's bullying there's neglect there's lies there's deception Finally, I gotta say finally, 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 yes, this is so good. Yes, yes, this is beautiful. The truth is clear. So we do have a new day, we have a breakthrough, we have a new beginning. Somebody's getting caught or they're coming clean. Um, there's been a lack of wish fulfillment and they're doing whatever they got to do to go to, towards wish fulfillment, but there is a walking away. I mean, there is definitely a walking away from an abusive situation. Somebody has been extremely naive. They have. There could be an upcoming reunion. There could be an upcoming get-together. It changes everything. I don't know what that is, but this is a beautiful opportunity to start over with that sun card. It's almost like we have an admitting as well. It's almost like admitting defeat, surrendering, Choosing happiness. Somebody is literally choosing happiness. It's like, I just want to be happy. I just, I just want to be happy. That's all I want. I just want to be happy. And they've been, it's like realizing the truth, realizing the foolishness, realizing the stupidity. Now, I told you I was Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn the other day. I'm Gemini as well. I'm one minute from being a Gemini. I have most of my planets in Gemini, my major things. I am more Gemini than any. Good luck. <laughs>